What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be going to be talking about concepts of liquidity. So I'll be showing you guys what liquidity is, where the liquidity is, what makes a liquidity grab, liquidity based trading strategy. So make sure you guys watch this video all the way through because this trading strategy is extremely important and if you learn this then you'll be able to identify why the market moves in certain directions. This also works on any pair in Forex, crypto, indices, stocks, literally anything you want to trade this strategy works. So yeah, make sure you watch the video all the way through. Okay, so let's get straight into it. So what is liquidity? If you Google what liquidity is, then lots of things will come up, like lots of writing, but you honestly don't need to read all of that. All you need to know is liquidity is just money. So if there is high volume in the market, then there is lots of liquidity. liquidity. If there is low volume in the market, then there is not as much liquidity, but there is always liquidity in the market. So... What we need is a high amount of liquidity so that as we as smart money traders can take advantage of this by waiting for the liquidity to be taken and then enter into the market just like the big banks and the institutions whilst the smaller banks the smaller institutions the private banks and the retail traders are all entering trend lines just like this so if you see these trend lines what is happening is all the small banks all the retail traders are all entering into the market at these points here so they're opening lungs here lungs here lungs here and lungs here because it is a nice nice pattern nice uh resistance support zone right here and they'll be opening shorts all here shorts all here shorts all here shorts shorts here because it is a nice resistance zone so what smart money would do and what the big retail banks do is push the price past this that point so that the liquidity is grabbed so if we look here there is lots of liquidity all under this trend line there is millions of dollars all sitting below this trend line so what smart money is doing is push the price below this trend line to grab all that liquidity that lies there and then all the dumb money, all the retail traders are all opening shorts because this support zone is broke. So then what smart money does is push the price back straight up, grabbing all the liquidity from the shorts now. All the liquidity from the shorts are lying here because people have just opened a trade exactly like this. So you see that... The resistance i mean yeah the support zone has been broke right here so now all the retail traders are all opening shorts with their stop losses up here and they've all just been grabbed and the liquidity has just been grabbed and smart money has just made a lot of money so let's look at another example right here so the exact same thing is happening there has been a nice support zone that is that all the retail traders all the smaller banks are trading off which is right here look at this resistance zone right here all of the um retail traders all the smaller banks smaller institutions all the private banks are all opening positions just like this so they'll have a long position here waiting for the price to tap off this support zone for the price to go straight back up so then what smart money does is if you look right here smart money is entered into the market so smart money is right here smart money has just pushed the price down all the bigger banks has just pushed the price further down tapping into this order block right here if you look there's an order block right here so the price perfectly taps into this order block and i actually entered this trade perfectly i entered this trade right at the bottom i sniped it i'll show proof on the screen right now of me entering into this trade this is bitcoin usdt by the way i like to trade crypto personally but this trade works everywhere so yeah the price perfectly taps into this order block then the price shoots back up grabbing all of this liquidity and then there'll be even more liquidity because people would be opening short positions right here because once this support zone has been broken all 
of the retail traders all of the smaller banks are all open in shorts because they think the price is going to drop all the way like this just because this support zone has been broken but as i just said right here all the bigger banks would all be in a tiny loss but there'd be millions of dollars sitting here getting ready to be taken so then the big banks come into the market push the price up rapidly so you can get all that liquidity that is lying right there and then taking out all the liquidity that is lying right here for all the people that are entering in shorts into the market so as you can see this wick right here breaks out all recent highs so this wick grabbed a lot of liquidity and the bigger banks the smart money traders like myself who got into the trade right here instead of being a retail trader getting into the trades right here i made a lot of money on this trade and this is what i'm going to teach you guys in the rest of this video so i hope you guys understand the basic concepts of liquidity and i'll be going to show you where liquidity is now so as you can see oh there's a bit of drawing on this let me just remove that so as you can see i've got two examples for you right here right here this is just a bullish flag that a very common candle pattern that you'll see a lot so where is the liquidity on this chart there is lots of liquidity laying right here all in this zone there's lots of liquidities millions of dollars all in orders all set for shorts and then there is millions of dollars set right here in lung positions all acting as liquidity as well so before the price wants to go up into this target okay so let's say this is our target zone right here before this zone can be met smart money have to grab liquidity so that they can be entered into the order because unlike us smart i'm um, smart money the bigger banks the big institutions cannot just enter into a position and that order to be filled the reason why they have to grab the liquidity is so that they can fill their orders so before this price would be met, what smart money would do, what the bigger banks would do is break out of this zone, grabbing everybody that is short in the market. So all the retail traders right now will be shorting here because it is a resistance zone, shorting here, shorting here. Their stop loss would be set in this zone. So what the big banks would do is push the price up a bit so all the big banks would be in a little li bit of a loss right now but they'll have millions of dollars all into the market and then they'll push the price straight back down so they'll liquidate everybody here grabbing lots of liquidity all of the shorts that'd be opened and then they would also grab all of the lungs that'd be open so everyone open a lung position right around here at this point at this point would all have their stop losses set down there so all of this would be grabbed and then the price would go back shooting straight back up grabbing anybody who was in a short position right here so that is one example of where you can find liquidity and then if we look right here this is also a perfect example of what the market would do so we have our resistance zone right here resistance resistance resistant so what are the retail traders doing and the smaller banks doing they're all open and short positions oh, short positions right here just like this it's not letting me grab that but you get the points this is their stop loss and then the take profit would be all down there like that and then they'll do that everywhere and then it'll be the opposite for people trading the support zones right here so people would be opening long positions here long positions here long positions here and their stop loss would be right here so what is the bigger banks smart money what is that going to do so the bigger banks before we get another move down the bigger banks are going to push the price up creating all this liquidity lying in these shorts all of this to be stopped out so this line is going to go past their stop loss so the bigger banks have just grabbed lots of liquidity they've just grabbed millions of dollars now the price is going to go back down and what are retail traders doing right now 
all retail traders are doing right now is enter in long positions right here because they think that the price is just going to go shooting back up because what they've been taught is to trade support and resistance you wait for a retest you enter the market on a retest so then all their stop losses will be sitting right here so now what's price going to do price is going to shoot straight back down taking out all of this liquidity from all of these shorts and all of these lungs down here because remember all of the lung liquidity is all sitting right here and then all smart money are going to do is push the price back up in the direction that they wanted to go it originally and they would make a lot of money on this big move up so that is where you'll find liquidity so now i'm going to be showing you what my trading strategy is when it comes to trading liquidity so if we go back down to this example and i'll show proof that i had entered this trade so i'm going to give you guys more of a reason on why i entered this trade right here so as you guys can see i'm just going to remove all the recent drawings so it's easier for everyone to see so there's lots of liquidity right here and i've identified that because there is a nice sup support zone right here so this support zone is in green so i've identified that there is millions of dollars all sitting in orders right here so everyone is waiting for this price all the retail traders are waiting for the price action to come down into this support zone and what i'm waiting for is i'm waiting for the price to break through this support zone and where am I looking to target and where am I looking to enter into the market? At an order block that the smart money that the big banks have entered. So if you remember, we had this move before that broke this all this liquidity. So the big banks have already been in the market. Smart money is already active. So I've recognized that. I've, I've realized that smart money is in the market and I've noticed that there's an order block sitting right here. So I've marked out this order block. I'll make this red so you can see the order block and then I've just dragged this order block to the right now what I was expecting is what happened perfectly the price taps into this order block so I'll tell you guys exactly what has just happened so price is tapped into this order block liquidity has just been grabbed all here so if you look right here this is where all the stop losses was sell side liquidity right here so all the stop losses from this support zone has just been grabbed. Now everybody's entering short positions because the support zone has just been broke. Everyone thinks there's going to be a nice retest and the price is just going to carry on down. But the opposite is going to happen. So there we go. The support zone has been broke. Everyone thinks that the price is going to go down. But what the banks and smart money have done is push the price straight back up meaning everybody in these short positions has just been liquidated as well all the millions of dollars has just been grabbed and the price shoots straight back up so i would set my limit order right here which i've done as i've shown you the proof earlier i actually made a call in my discord as well but my discord has not fully been um released yet so that'll be coming soon so yeah, I put my order right here, waited for this order block to be filled. This order block got filled perfectly. Then my price target was this zone right here, this recent high, because I know that smart money and I know that the big banks are most likely going to be taking out all the buy side liquidity. So this is the BS, BSL, buy side liquidity. So if you ever see a chart and it says BSL or SSL, that means buy side liquidity and sell side liquidity <coughs> excuse me so all we want price action to do is grab liquidity on both sides and then we get into the market once liquidity has been grabbed and then we get out of the market the opposite side where the rest of the liquidity lays and that is our trading strategy it's very simple you can do that exact same thing when it comes to um, trading trend lines as well as support and resistance just wait for the liquidity to be grabbed wait for an order block to be hit enter into the market put your take profit to the 
opposite side of liquidity and then you'll make a lot of money don't get trapped in this sideways movement and yeah you guys should be good to go